Hi, hello, good evening. Welcome to Adhyapana Academy. Uh, so for the concept for today, I will be explaining on economic value added. Uh, yet another very, very simple concept. So the concept is very simple, but it has a computational procedure. So let me explain that. Let's get started. The concept of economic value added, which is called as EVA. Right? What is this economic value added? This is the value addition which is created by running a business. Right? So, suppose if an individual has rupees, certain amount, say, suppose rupees 1 lakh. Okay, he has two alternatives with this one lakh of rupees. Number one, he can invest it in certain securities and get a risk-free return or even a risk-bearing return, say suppose 10% return per annum. This is his expectation of the investor, right? This is expectation of investor. This is one way of using this one lakh of money. Another way of using this money will be investing this money as a capital into a business. Correct? So, when an individual has certain amount on hand, he has two choices. One is either make an investment in marketable securities or at least in risk-free investments or one more alternative is to invest as a capital into a business. So, once when the money is invested as a capital into the business, the business will yield, start yielding profits, correct? So, if the business is going to yield the same profits as 10% per annum, then what is the point of carrying out the business? Now, business under the mulama, return extra varam. In a return extra varam, risk free investment, 10% why should I spend my time and effort in carrying out the business? I will sit back, relax and enjoy this 10% without doing anything itself. Right? So, this capital which is invested into the business will yield some return. Say, suppose, example, it yields you 12% return per annum. Which means, the additional 2% of return is what we call as economic value added. It is the value addition in terms of profits because of investing the money into the business, right? So what is economic value added? Economic value added is the value addition into the business, is the value addition of the business in terms of profits, for the capital invested. This is the concept of economic value added. So, for the rough numbers which I gave you, for the random numbers which I gave you, how much is economic value added? 1 lakh is the capital invested. If it is invested in the business, 12% is the return per annum. So, how much is the actual returns from the business? Actual returns from the business is... 1 lakh into 12 percent. This is 12,000 rupees. But how much is the expected return? The expected return is the return on the capital which is uh, invested in marketable securities. That is the expected return which is 10,000. Which means 2,000 rupees is what we call as economic value added. It is as simple as this. Okay. This is the concept of economic value added. In Gita, 1 lakh paisa irukku. And the paisa vana risk free investment la pota, and the value manamanda, and a 10% return kuduko. Either way, na the business la pota, na, if it gives you return more than what is your expected return, that additional return is what you call as economic value added, the value addition of the business in terms of profits. 
This is what we call as EVA or economic value added. It is as simple as this, but you have a set of computational procedures. So what is the, this is the logic behind finding EVA, but what is the computational procedure for EVA? Computational procedure for EVA will be net operating profit after tax minus the operating capital into weighted average cost of capital. So when a capital is invested into business, it can be a combination of debt preference and equity, in which case it is the weighted average cost of capital, which will determine the expectation of the investors. There are varied investors, equity, debt, preference, capital. So the expectation of all investors put together is what we call as the weighted average cost of capital. Now, let me explain what is this net operating profit after tax? What is this operating capital? You know what is weighted average cost of capital. It is the overall cost of capital for the firm, right? So what is this NOPAT? This NOPAT is net operating profit after taxes. What do you mean? This is profit after tax, which is easily understandable for us. What do you mean by operating profit? The profit derived by the business absolutely out of operating activities alone is what we call as operating profit. How do we measure that operating profit? It is EBIT, which we call as operating fit. Why is it EBIT? It is earnings before interest and tax. Why is it EBIT? Because this EBIT only is the profit made from the business because of operating activities, right? From this, I will not subtract interest. I will straight away take tax. This number EBIT minus tax is what we call as net operating profit after taxes. You might immediately get a question in mind. We have tax saving on interest. We can subtract interest, you can pay tax on the net earnings, and then you can uh, have a tax saving on interest. That is an immediate point which will come into everybody's mind. But remember, the interest is a debt cost. Interest is a finance cost. It is not an operating cost, right? So it is cost of capital. It is a debt cost. It is a finance cost. Hence, interest will not be considered as part of operating expenses. Hence, I will not subtract interest here. So, net operating profit after tax is EBIT minus tax, which is no part. What if EBIT is not given to you directly? If they give you all information for finding the EBIT, sales minus operating cost. This figure is what you call as EBIT. What is operating cost? It is all cost incurred for operational activities of the business. It will not include interest. Why? Because interest is a finance cost. Okay. So this is net operating profit after taxes. So how do you measure net operating profit after tax? It is straight away EBIT minus tax. Why do I ignore the interest element? because interest is a finance cost, hence it is ignored. Now coming to what is this operating capital? You all should be aware about weighted average cost of capital. Anyway, let me tell that as well. So what is this operating capital? Out of the capital raised, out of the money raised by issue of equity or preference or by debt, the investments will be made for the business and also outside the business, correct? So whatever is the capital raised from that, when you subtract the non-trade investments, what is non-trade investments? It is investments made in some other business for a rate of return. It is not an investment which is made into your same business for operational activities. Hence, capital raised minus non-trade investments will give us operating capital. This capital can be a composition of debt, equity or preference. Hence, we will have to multiply with weighted average cost of capital 
to know the expected returns of the investors. So operating capital into weighted average cost of capital will give you the expected return of the investor. How do you measure this weighted average cost of capital? It is cost of equity into weight of equity plus cost of preference into weight of preference plus cost of debt into weight of debt. Always this cost of debt must be taken after tax. Right? This is weighted average cost of capital. So, operating capital into the weighted average cost of capital. Operating capital into WACC will give us expectation of returns from the investor or expected returns of the investor. This, when you compare with the actual returns, which is no NOPAT. NOPAT is the actual returns. When you compare these two, you will end up with finding EVA. This is the concept of economic value added. So to comprehend this uh, concept, let me explain a sum. The question will be given in the description box. You can look into it for reference from the description box itself. So. Let me read the question. Equity share capital rupees 5 lakhs, 13% preference share capital 2 lakhs, reserves and surplus 6 lakhs, non-trade investments, face value rupees 1 lakh, rate of interest 10%, 20% debentures 3 lakhs, profit before tax 2 lakhs, tax rate is 40%, weighted average cost of capital is 13%. Calculate EVA. This is the question. So, how do you measure EVA? EVA is measured as net operating profit after tax minus operating capital into weighted average cost of capital. Right? What is this net operating profit after tax? They have given in the question the profit before tax. Profit before tax is given in the question as rupees 2 lakhs. But to arrive at this profit before tax, you would have subtracted interest. Interest is a finance cost. So you have to reverse the interest expenses, right? Plus interest. Why do I add interest? I am reversing the expenditure. Why am I reversing the expenditure? Because it is a finance cost. It is not an operating cost. So how did I identify that there is interest? They have told 20% debentures rupees 3 lakhs, which means 3 lakh into 20% will be the amount of interest. 3 lakh into 20% will give you the interest value. That interest value is rupees 60,000, right? So you will end up with 1 lakh and 40,000 as profit before interest and tax. But this profit includes a revenue from non-trade investments. So, subtract the interest from non-trade investments. The interest received from non-trade investments is 1 lakh. I'm sorry. Instead of adding, I have subtracted here. Just a minute. Two lakh plus sixty thousand is two lakh sixty thousand minus non-trade investments is giving you an interest of ten percent per annum. So one lakh into ten percent is ten thousand, which is return from non-trade investments. It is an income out of operational activity, out of excluding operational activity. Hence, I have to subtract them. When I subtract, I will be arriving at two lakh and fifty thousand as earnings before interest and tax. After I find earnings before interest and tax, the tax percentage is given as 40%. So 40% on 2 lakh and 50,000 will give me 1 lakh. EBIT minus tax will give me net operating profit after taxes. Net operating profit after tax is 1,50,000. Let me repeat what I did so far. 
they gave you they gave me profit before tax as 2 lakhs correct to find this profit in your P&L account, you would have charged interest on the debit side. It is a financial expenditure. So you have to reverse it to find operating profit. How do I reverse an expenditure? By adding it back. So 3 lakh is the debentures. 20% is the interest on debentures. So 60,000 is the interest. 2 lakh plus 60,000 is 2 lakh and 60,000. There is also a non-trade investment which is given, which means as part of your income on the credit side, you would have written interest received on non-trade investments. It is a non-operating income. So you have to subtract that non-operating income. Hence, it is subtracted. Then you arrive at earnings before interest and tax. Minus tax at 40%, you will arrive at net operating profit after taxes. After finding this, now come to finding operating capital. How much is operating capital? For finding this operating capital, they have given you the breakup of capital structure. They have given equity share capital rupees 5 lakhs. They have also given preference share capital 2 lakhs. They have given reserves and surplus 6 lakhs. Then they have given debentures, 20% debentures. 20% debentures is given as 3 lakhs. This is total capital raised, right? The total capital raised is 16 lakhs. Total capital raised is 16 lakhs. From this total capital raised, I will subtract the capital invested for non-trade investments. Out of this money, how much have I invested into the business itself? Uh, uh, I am subtracting the number which is invested elsewhere, which is invested outside the business because it is non-operating investment. So non-trade investments out of this capital, they have made a non-trade investment of 1 lakh, which means only 15 lakhs is operating capital. This is operating capital. Right? They, we have already calculated net operating profit after tax. We have calculated operating capital. They have given us weighted average cost of capital as 13%. What is EVA? EVA is net operating profit after tax minus operating capital into weighted average cost of capital. That weighted average cost of capital is straight away given to you in the question. If it is not given, you will have to calculate. 1,50,000 minus 15 lakhs into 13%. Right? So, 15 lakhs into 30%, 13%, 15 lakhs into 13%. Just a minute, let me calculate. One lakh fifty thousand minus one lakh ninety five thousand means negative 45,000 is economic value added. The business is not giving you returns as much as expected. There is a loss. This is economic value added. Okay. So I hope this video was useful to all of you. I will come back with another video very soon. Thank you.